Hi and uh, welcome to this review of the Zhang Fu. I'm James O'Sullivan of the Active Health Foundation. What are the Zhang Fu? First of all, they're the organs of the body. The in traditional Chinese medicine, we view the body as an integrated whole, and this is the essence of Chinese medical theory. The Zhang Fu internal organs theory represents this intricate web of integrating all aspects of the human and his or her surroundings. The terminology is very similar to Western medical science. Western anatomical organ names are used in translation of traditional Chinese medicine internal organs. It must be borne in mind when studying TCM Zhang Fu organs that we are using the English language and when the first translations of Chinese organs were made it was convenient at that time to try and compare them to Western organs. There are some similarities in function but in the main the translations are in name only. I will advise you when studying TCM not to confuse the two medical disciplines. When studying Western sciences and TCM on the same course, I advise the student not to compare the functions until they have a solid knowledge of each discipline, to wear his or her Western hat, or TCM hat, so to speak. It is advised to see the Zhang Fu organs not in an anatomical form, but rather as a physiological organ with functions that extend outside the standard Western location and understanding of the organ. Each organ has an inseparable connection to emotions, tissues, sensory organs, mental functions, colours, climates, seasons, natural elements, and the list goes on. We have two types of organ included in the Zhang Fu. We have the Zhang and as we looked at in the five element lecture, we had the heart, spleen, lungs, kidney, liver and pericardium were Zhang organs. And here we see them with their abbreviations and their partners, the Fu organs were the small intestine, the stomach, the large intestine, urinary bladder, gallbladder and of course the San Zhao. We also have extraordinary yang organs such as the uterus, brain, marrow, bones, blood vessels and gallbladder. However, we'll look at that much later on in the, in the course. The zhang are regarded as solid organs. They're involved in transformation and they regulate the release of essence, qi, blood and body fluids. They also store these vital substances when needed. The Fu organs are regarded as hollow organs and they receive and prepare food, such as when the stomach rottens and ripens food before it is transformed by the spleen. They absorb nutrients and also they transmit and excrete waste. In traditional Chinese medicine, the human being is looked at as an integrated whole. Therefore, interrelationships are of the essence. They're so important. Since a person depends on the whole being in balance and harmony to achieve optimum health, discussions of the organs on their own would not be enough. So when we look at the relationship between the Zhang Fu and vital substances, we see clearly that the heart governs the blood uh, the liver stores the blood and regulates the amount of blood in circulation. The lungs govern qi and disperse and dis distend or descend body fluids. The spleen governs gu qi. It also holds blood in the blood vessels and it influences body fluids. While the kidneys, they store essence and they influence body fluids. The Zhang Fu's relationship with the tissues, there are energetic functional relationships between the organs and their corresponding tissue. 
So the health of tissues can be seen through the health of their corresponding Zanfu. And when we look at the heart relationship with tissues, we see that the heart controls the blood vessels and it manifests its health on the facial complexion. The liver controls the sinews or the tendons and ligaments and it shows its health on the nails. The lungs control the skin and manifest its health on the hair of the body or body hair. The spleen controls the muscles and manifests its health on the lips. And the kidneys control the bones and show its health on the hair of the head. The health and well-being of sensory organs rely on the care and nourishment of its corresponding Zhang Fu. The heart, for instance, controls the tongue and taste. The liver controls the eyes and sight. And the lungs control the nose and smell. While the spleen controls the mouth and taste. And the kidneys control the ears and hearing. Qi is the basis of all physiological activity in the body. It is also responsible for the emotional processes. This concept of emotions directly links to the Zhang Fu functioning as an integrated whole is of utmost importance in traditional Chinese medicine theory. The health of the Zhang Fu organs will affect the emotions and the emotions will affect the health of the Zhang Fu organs. When they are excessive, and occur for long periods of time. Treatment of organs therefore can help emotional health and the treatment of emotions can improve the health of internal organs. When we look at the emotion that's associated with the heart we see joy or happiness and when in disharmony over joy or mania. The liver is connected with the emotion anger while the lungs relate to sadness and grief and the spleen is affected by overthinking and worry and the kidneys are related to fear. The Zhang Fu's relationship with the climate and the environment because different climatic factors affect different Zhang Fu functions. Excessive weather conditions for prolonged periods of time can adversely affect internal organ processes. The heart is affected by heat and the liver is affected by wind. Lungs are affected by dryness and the spleen is affected by dampness. The kidneys are affected by cold. The Su Wen of the Huangdi Di Jing states that the Zhang organs store up essential qi and regulate its outflow, while the Fu organs transform and transport substances without storing them and for this reason they may be overfilled but cannot be filled to capacity. I hope you enjoyed this lecture, I hope you found it useful and until the next time, Slantia.